Well, we know there's bandits here. And we know they're looking for something. Oh, I hear them already. <laughs> we must be getting close to them already. I feel like usually yes. we don't see too many people hold their own against, uh... Dwemer constructs, but they seem to be doing an okay job then. Maybe these bandits aren't going to be a pushover. Huh? Is someone there? I guess we'll see right now. No! Oh, this will all be over soon. <laughs> maybe they will be. Kill you! Maybe, Nothing. maybe they will be. I mean, hey, Lucian took out that one very, very quickly on his own. We just interrupted their little party. They were singing, they were having a nice fire. Or they had a nice fire going. Another one bites the dust. You said it, buddy. Huh? Huh? Man, just everywhere Over you here. go. Oh! Got a couple bandit mages not giving them a chance. Did they just hit each other? With their spell, it sure looks like it, right? Was it just me? It definitely looked like they were attacking each other with their ice. Right in the back. Lucian, don't worry, I got your back. Staff of the Flame Atronach, okay. Canis Root. Let's take the potion, take the gold. Not the potions I'm looking for necessarily, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Quite a few of them here. I guess they were really expecting a good haul, uh huh? I'll take all of it. So we have a path there, and a door here. Add up the lock, okay. Almost? Nope. No. Oh. Getting warm. Maybe not as warm. There we go. Found the sweet spot. Oh, okay. Nobody in here. Oh, Potion of Extreme Healing. Don't mind if I do. Dance in Fire, Volume 7. Speech increased to 70. I have been told I can be charming at times. Not all the time, just every now and then. Speech of 70, I feel like that proves it. Ever so slightly. Oh. Oh, we've got, uh, Dwarven Automatons. I guess maybe the bandits didn't hold down on their own. Oh. Okay. Seems I'm not the only one that can shout fire anymore, huh? Who goes there? Oh. You really thought you were going to survive this. My blood? Not likely. Obviously, I still haven't fooled around with the uh, Z edit yet, or X edit, to stop some of the uh, really just non-lore friendly creatures from spawning. I know I've said it before, and I will probably say it just a couple more times, but if you give me a purist option, I really want that to mean purist. Purist disables a defined pre-selection of creatures. I realize that ultimately everyone's going to have a different definition, but I don't know. In my mind, I really would assume that purist means just lore friendly. All right. Just took a look through. Made a couple changes, although I know it won't despawn or stop some of these creatures from spawning. I'll have to do that on my own at some point. Which I said before, and I still haven't done it, so... At a certain point, I guess it's on me. 
Ooh, really? An ebony arrow? This is the Did end field, not right? Take it out, damn. Oh, wait. Probably a terrible idea. Let me try the Dwarven Oil. Weakness to magic. If anything, I'm glad it didn't just outright poison me or kill me. I just get food poisoning. That suddenly becomes an active effect. Well, I guess the bandits didn't get any further than this, huh? They didn't get too much further than the entrance when you think about it. Oh, let me take him out. Oh. I mean, decent damage. Rather exciting. Not terrible, seeing as I still am going through and re-leveling two-handed. Oh, here they come. Oh. Very possible that fire might not be my best course of action against them, but you never know. What can I say? There's something very satisfying about being dragonborn and literally breathing fire at your enemies. Maybe the bandits did get a little further, since there's an amulet of Talos in here. Not sure how that would have gotten here otherwise. Hmm. Well, Lucian, looks like we got a little bit of a uh, brain teaser here then. Well, you you stay there. If anything, I can always tell him to flip that other switch in case I do somehow get locked in here. Now let's flip this lever. And this one. Uh... That open up. Okay, all right. I see. I think I see where I want to go. And now, if I flip this, straight shot to the valve. And look at that. All opened. All good to go. A master chest. Uh. All right. I'll do it. It really is just super finicky. Bound bow, orgish bow arcing. Okay. Nothing I really need. It gets warm in here. There's so many just burst steam valves. I'm always feeling just a little uh sweaty. It's always a little humid. Alright, into the Mazincha left. Depths. Oh. I was gonna say at first maybe the bandits did get further, but no. I think this is gonna be, uh, Dwarven Automaton versus Falmer. Yep, I see one right there. Ugh, god, the way they stand. All hunched over like that. They're like little gremlins. <sighs> oh, I had a feeling I was gonna miss. I kinda knew it. No! <gasps> kinda figured. Ooh, good hit. This'll all be over soon. Oh, poisoned me with their arrow. Oh, yep, nope, that hurts a little bit. That hurt just a smidgen. Nothing in here. Glowing mushrooms. Check them for potions. They have poison, we know. So they could have potions, you know. I'll take your ears. Odd thing to say, but, you know.
I'm amazed this place hasn't flooded yet. I wonder what it looked like before all these uh, pipes were broken. Oh, God. Chorus eggs. Where there's Chorus eggs, there's Chorus. Ugh. I'll take spiders over a Chorus every day of the week. Any day of the week. Oh, God, you're disgusting looking. I wonder if we could find a way to drain the water off. Probably not, but... Just something I'm wondering. Uh-oh. Oh, Yo! hey! How are you? Right on the head, just bop, bop, bash. Ooh, tried to heal, nice try. Was hoping that meant a uh, potion or two. I'm not that lucky. Oh, we might have to get our feet wet. Well, maybe. Maybe not. You do know where you're going, don't you? Never. Never, ever, ever. <gasps> doesn't stop me, though. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't even slow me down that much. Oh, I didn't even see that other one behind me. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna put my helmet on, just for a little bit extra defense. Not that I've really, really been in too much trouble yet, but... Why take any more unnecessary risks right now? Yeah, I don't think there's much down... Oh. Alright, a little bit deeper than I expected. Not that I see anything of note, but... I didn't realize how flooded this was. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really see anything, but... A little bit of a surprise. I really thought it was just gonna stop right at the bottom of these stairs. Are you with me? Oh. There you are. Oh. I was worried you didn't know how to swim and that I had lost you forever. What a way that would be to go. After all this, you just don't know how to swim, and you just die because of that. Lost deep underground in a dwarven ruin of old, with all these skulking Falmer around. I feel like they would eat our corpses when we're, uh, gone. When we're dead. There's not much else to eat down here, so, you know. What are they going to do, try and nibble on the, uh, the Dwarven Spiders? I don't think so. Alright. At first I was going to say it was a, uh, Chapel of Sorts, but... The Dwarves weren't really known for, um, their piety. More of an assembly room, more of a, uh, a meeting room. I see you. Oh, they heard me say that. Ooh, that arrow looked uncomfortable. That first arrow's placement looked very painful. Yep, right through the crotch. Second one right through the mouth, so honestly, ugh, both terrible. Both very, very, very unfortunate placements. I'm glad it went quickly, then. I'm glad we didn't drag it out for them, then. Oh. At least they set off their own this trap. Will be over soon. I, mean, I guess when you're blind, it's a little bit easier to set off your own trap if you don't remember where it is. I should probably swap off for my ebony arrows, but right now they're doing a lot of work. They're doing some really good damage. 
Because right now it's mainly... Well, I can't craft ebony arrows yet. I think the highest I can craft is either dwarven or, or orcish. Might be worth making some more arrows the next time we're in a city. Which I meant for us to go to Dawnstar, and then, lo and behold, here we are, deep underground, Dwarven Ruins. Good hit. Oh, they did not like that. They can't see much, but they hear everything. <laughs> it always feels mildly anticlimactic when you bash an enemy and they die. Because it doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of oomph to it. I was hoping for a potion or two in here. I was sadly mistaken. Well, that's sealed off, which means let's check up this ramp. Get ready to get a drop as down. As fascinating as the Dwemer are, their obsession with traps is distressing. I would argue that we've seen more Falmer traps than we have Dwemer traps, but... Maybe that's because the Falmer already set off all the Dwemer traps. No! <gasps> <laughs> Just a little like, what? Just seemed a little confused as he uh, fell over, as he toppled over. Oh, God. All right. Give me a sec. Never mind, that one wasn't too bad. Only took me maybe two or three lockpicks total. Falmer helmet, dwarven oil... I'm amazed that some of these potions don't have an expiration date. I'm amazed some of these haven't spoiled. Falmer boots, Falmer armor. Alright. Oh, I thought that was something right there for a second. I thought that was um, something sitting atop the dwarven canister. Nope. Just the handle. Well, that's open now. I'll just hop down. How big do you think this place is? Oh, alright. Bigger. However big you think this place is, no! just round it up. Oh, god, he fell over. A little clumsy. Works for me. Oh! Okay, I'm very hurt. Let's use that ultimate healing. I have 13 of them, yeah. Let's just make use of it. I think it's the poison that got me. Oh, gonna have to use another one. He's just really, really, really bullying me. Okay, I gl I'm glad you feel that way, Lucian. I'm glad you think this is exciting. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to stay alive. Feel free to, uh, take the lead. If you think it's that exciting. Feel free to, uh, to take charge. I'll let you lead me on an adventure someday. Although, I guess when we finally, um, get to that one ruin that you want to explore, maybe you'll be the one taking charge. Anything in here? Ooh. Well, you know, I'm glad he's, uh, dismantled. I'm glad that I don't have to deal with this one. Oh, let me take the other. Dwarven oil. It's an alchemy ingredient. I can always use a little bit more. Amulet of Debella. I don't know if I've found one yet. Frost resistance, I think we have... But it sells for a little bit, so I'll take it. I can afford to carry it right now.
I know part of it's that the Fulmer aren't exactly living in luxury, but... I'm amazed that I don't really see many beds for them. Do they just sleep on the ground? Ah, excuse me. Sounds mildly uncomfortable. Because my question is, who killed the Fulmer on the stairs? Because I certainly didn't. I'm guessing it was, uh, him. Yep. Lucian, look alive! Lucian! Don't just stand there! Don't just stand there. A Dwarven Sphere Centurion Masterpiece. And Lucian's down for the count. Okay. Yep. That hurts. I think I should have another resist... Frost? Yeah. I assume that's Frost, but I could be wrong. Guess we're gonna find out. Do I have another potion for... Oh. Well, let me do two-ended weapons, and if I have another for heavy armor, that would be great. I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. Ooh! Ouch! I should really put my, uh... My shield back on for this. Okay, just yeah. circle him a little bit. Stay behind him. Okay. Ooh! Lucian, you okay? Fighting with a backpack on Oh! I mean, I'm used to fighting with a backpack, but... Maybe it's not the easiest. Whew. That was not an easy one. Daedric Arrow. More oil for me. A Grand Soul Gem, huh? You, uh... You look, one, a little shocked. Two, a little bloody. I can't say I blame you for either one of them. Cyrodiil Battle Axe. Eminent Wielding. Pretty sure we have the enchantment, but... Gonna take that. <laughs> Close your mouth, Lucian. Flies are gonna fly in. What's this? Hmm. Guess we're not going in there. Guess we're missing something. But that was quite an enemy. It must be hiding something in here, right? Oh! Grimzeber. Let me take a look at that. It's an exquisite looking glass sword. 15 points of frost damage to health and stamina. Yeah, the craftsmanship is, uh, beautiful. That sounds familiar. I think I had someone mention this sword to me before. Maybe not, but I could have sworn I had someone talk to me about it. Perhaps I didn't offer to find it for them. In which case, I would, um, I'd feel a little bad. Well, Lucian, what do you think? That's a, uh... That's a Dwarven Ruin for you. Oh, I recognize this exit. I know where we are. Okay. Down! Okay, more and more and more wolves, huh? Oh! Ooh, he's a strong one. He is a strong one. Oh god. Didn't even see you behind me. You were hiding in the grass, huh? They blended right in.
Oh, who's that on the horse? Who's just riding by? Oh, is that a Stormcloak soldier? Or maybe just an adventurer dressed like one? Where are you riding off to so quickly? Hey! Hey you, I'm trying to talk to you. Hmm? Okay. Just a courier. Maybe they didn't get the memo. Maybe nobody told them that the war was over. It's not my problem, then. Wow, we kind of got in a perfect circle. Right back at Frostmere Crypt. Well, in that case, let's head straight to Dawnstar. The way I see it, we have earned ourselves a hot bath, a cold mead, and a good meal. I'm sorry. My mind was just somewhere else. Do you need a room? Drink? Uh, the hot bath? It's nice to be in out of the cold. Of course. I... Can I pay for Lucian to have one too? Separate bath. We're not taking it together. I understand. I'm glad. Well, don't you look nice. You look like you got a, uh, a bath in yourself, huh? Any, uh, rumors? I'm sorry. My mind was just somewhere else. Do you need a room? Drink? I wish there was something we could do for him. I wish we could help him out. Any rumors? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? I've heard it before. I've heard a couple people mention it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's the middle of the day. I'm not going to take a nap now. Maybe at night if we're still here, but I can't say we're going to stay for too, huh? too long. Oh. Well, with the storm, maybe we will stay a little longer. Let's go greet the new Jarl. Because we haven't been back since the end of the war. <clears throat> I remember the uh, the previous year was not necessarily uh, the most rational man. I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. Are you the Just court wizard? If you could call it that. The Jarl can make all the demands in the world. I'm not setting one foot on that battlefield. I fought in the Great War. I cut enough young life short. I'm not going to do it again. I understand. You yes, mentioned you fought in the Great no War? About 30 years ago, the sure, Aldemary so Dominion so invaded the Empire. It was a surprise attack. Caught everyone off guard. They ended up sacking the Imperial City. I was there. Blasting apart young, elven men and women with fireballs and lightning bolts. By Akatosh. All the blood. The smell of flesh burned and pulled apart by magic. I never want to do that to another soul, ever again. I understand. Back to another fine day in Dawnstar. Yeah, you really love it here, don't you? Oh, Horik. Good to see you. I remember you. We spoke previously. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Why, thank you. Dragonborn. What can I do for you? It's an honor. Is there anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. I... I'd love to. It would be an honor. Good luck. Well, I've already helped some people, you know. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of the Pale. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. You don't say. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. Blade of the Pale. 
Funny, because I'm also carrying the Pale Blade. Is Dawnstar prepared for dragon attacks? No. We're completely exposed. Bows and arrows are in short supply. Every building is made of thatch and wood. I've given standing orders to the guards to prepare water bucket runs to the harbor in case of a fire, but that's all we can do. Is the land you mentioned before still available? Yes, it is. It's in the southern part of the Pale, right on the border with Right One Hold. All the room in the world to build your own house. Only 5,000 gold. I'll have to think about it, but I might take you up on that. Hmm. Well, if you change your mind, come see me again. I'd ask about the war, but it is over. What do you have to say about it, though? The Empire has stretched itself too far. This rebellion in Skyrim is one problem, but solving it won't fix everything. I agree. But that's the kind of talk an old war horse shouldn't be making. Don't worry. I have my problems with the Empire, but I'm still a soldier first. We'll keep peace and order in Dawnstar. It's a very common sentiment, I find. Stay out of trouble now. I feel like most Good people I talk to who support the Empire still say I'm... I'm loyal it's to the Empire, to but, uh, someone I can count on. man, do they make some dumb choices. Man, do they do some things that I'm not a fan of. Do you mind if I use this real quick? No? Great. Alright, still nothing for me to disenchant. <clears throat> it's always how it goes. You'd think I would remember what enchantments I know and don't know by now, right? Stay sharp. Alright. Well... Let's get to trading, then. There are times when I kind of find it funny what potion combinations there are. I combine salt and fish, and, uh, suddenly it'll increase or fortify your restoration. Who am I to argue? I'm no alchemist. Or at least, I'm not a properly trained one, at least. Alright, that's gonna be enough for right now. That'll be enough for today. I raised alchemy twice. That's probably a new record for me, honestly. It's not worth getting yet, because I just don't make enough potions that are good enough to use, but at some point, physician might be really good. Potions you make that restore health, magicka, or stamina are 25% stronger. I do have one point. I don't know if I want to use it. I don't know what I would want to use it on right now. Oh, never mind. I've decided. Your shouts are 25% better. <laughs> never mind. That wasn't too hard. That was actually quite the easy one. Well, in that case, I think we're all set here. Let's find Pantea's Flute. Not too far. Should be a relatively quick walk. You can really see the Statue of Azur for miles, huh? It's massive. If anything, I would say it's almost a little bit more prominent than the College. Definitely easier on the eyes, if nothing else. Well, there's the Lighthouse. I don't know if I would call it cursed, but, uh Having Falmer and Chorus break in and kill all the inhabitants? I feel like that's pretty close to cursed. Oh. Sabercat Cubs! <gasps> I'm glad that I, uh, improved my shouts, though. Even just with the one... <laughs> word for fire breath. Increasing that by 25%, that seems really, really good. I have a feeling it'll really, really benefit me. All this blood, and all because I want to find a flute. If all this bloodshed is for a flute, I mean, I'm just going to have to question a lot of people's, uh, priorities. 
Did I hear someone up there? You have to help me. They're gonna kill me. Okay, I'm on my way. I can't let an innocent person die now, can I? No! Ooh. Oh, he's a little stronger than your average skeleton. Although he is a lord. I should respect his title. He was stronger than the necromancer. Probably the necromancer who summoned him, too. A little embarrassing when you're, uh, you're summoned. Oh, yeah, and now your summon comes back to life as well. Is, someone there? Ah! Is he just holding a stick? Ah! I respect this guy. Ah! He's this more dangerous with a psychic. stick than the necromancer was. If they summon more of those, we'll really be in trouble. Whoever's locked up, whoever's uh, locked away, I hope they can just stay... I was gonna say stay safe. They're not staying quiet. If anything, they're drawing attention to me by saying, please help. You there, come here and help me. All the necromancers are going to know that someone's here. What is that? No! Is someone there? Not that I'm very subtle, but I knew. still. Oh, just out of range. Oh! Okay. You know, Lucian, I think we're gonna be uh, ready to train you again. Maybe teach you another spell, increase your uh, fighting prowess, but... Oh. And you healed me. Look at that. I assume he's below us, then? I have no interest in jumping down right now. We'll, we'll reach him. We'll find him. Yeah, there. I definitely feel like I'm doing a little bit more damage now. They could just be, uh, Time me. To could just be a little bit of a placebo effect, but... I, I feel like my spells like. are good right now. Please, just Not give up! I do like Lucian's bargaining with them. It's like, oh, please, will you just give up? He says it's so politely, in a way that I definitely, you know, I'm not as polite, I would say. Oh, please. Okay. I realize that I said I'm not as polite, and now I'm the one who's saying, please, stop. Oh, mainly because I can't even reach you because you keep on freezing me. There we go. Lucian, you're fine. Every necromancer, every necromancer hiding out in the middle of nowhere. They're all so well read. Oh god. Hey Lucian, I found some uh, spells for you. I found a cornucopia of them. Uh, you have a lot of reading material now. I hope you enjoy. Hey. Lucian Flavius, reporting for duty. Checking your axe and everything. Look at you. I'd like to train you some more. Excellent. I've been looking forward to this. What shall we work on this time? Uh, I want to teach you a spell. You do? Splendid. Which spell? Honestly, take your pick. Elemental Flare, Fast Healing. Oh god, there's so many of them. Elemental Flare. Fire, Frost, and Shock all at once. That has to sting. I hope it does. Here goes nothing. Yeah. Goodness me, did you see that? Yeah, I think you're going to be a uh, fighting force to reckon with. Let's go. Yeah, there, see it is. That's uh, part of what Lucian cast. Still haven't found this woman who's asking for our help. Still looking for her. Wherever she is. Oh! 
and I need to collect lesser soul gems. All right, that's two different uh, missives to return to White Run then, because it's that and the spider eggs. Oh, Lucian, you are making good use of that spell, huh? Just immediately. This is me trying to run at him. That was me trying to sprint. And I think I hit Lucian in that. Maybe I should, uh, use archery. We offer this soul to oh. The Revenant. Oh. He watches over the opponents of RK okay, we're rushing in there. No sacrifice. No souls being sacrificed. No! I was hoping to hit a couple more of them. Didn't entirely work the way I wanted to. It's fine. Thank you. Let me see if I have a resist cold. Resist frost. I do. 70%, 18%. 18%. Gonna have to do. Alright, one more. Just one left. I don't think I saved her in time. I don't think I got here in time. I heard her say thank you, but... I have a feeling we didn't exactly make it. Well, that's one flute. That's one not-so-magical flute. Yeah. We didn't save them. That's what I was afraid of. Because these are the necromancers. Ash pile. I'm guessing that's the person I was trying to save and uh, didn't exactly pan out. Gosh, it's chilly in here. Yeah, very much so. If anything, we should just pop potions of resist frost just when we're traveling. I feel like that alone would already make um, the winters and the frozen north a little bit more bearable. 